So, lights go blue. It's been, what, six months since we've No, it hasn't even been that long, has it? When? It's been a few months. It's been a few months, and I, you guys have just come straight back from... Three months. Three months, and you guys have come straight back from Sonosphere, right? Uh, well, we're, I was at Sonosphere last night. We're playing tomorrow, Sunday night. Excited? Yeah, amazing. I can't, I can't wait to play. It'll be brilliant. We've had a few demos and a few little songs that have popped out. Is there anything solid that's coming out as a release? Uh, yeah, we're going to be. We just recorded. We just finished recording an EP with uh, six tracks on it, and uh, coming out at the end of August for pre-order or pre, you know, sale. And then uh, we'll be releasing it hopefully kind of mid-September, the end of September. We'll be putting them out. So uh, from then onwards. And is it similar to the kind of thing that you've done already with your tracks that are free? Similar, but similar, similar, but uh, it's kind of everyone, every band uses it. It's more mature, but it's not more mature. We still kind of keep to our roots. It's just kind of, it's more what we kind of aim to do with the uh, original songs, but we couldn't. Like, so we kind of learnt, you know, the ways of recording, and we learnt the ways of what well, we haven't learnt. But you know, we're making it up, DIY kind of producing, and yeah, it's more what we kind of aim to be, isn't it? Really. Is there anything, I mean, have you guys got a big tour coming up, a headline tour at any point? Or are you guys just going to be supporting for a couple of months more? I was hoping today would be the day I could start bragging about this big tour that we've got, but I don't want to jinx it now because there's a problem, well, there might be a problem with uh, my visa application. So so we'll announce any big tours yeah. in due time, yeah. in due course. Yeah, visa permitting, you'll hear, you'll hear about it, we'll be telling everyone. Which will be good, I'm sure. So you've got the EP, the tour, and you've, you've also been touring since The Great Escape. You've been around for a couple of months, obviously. Yeah, this tour, uh, this month we've just done a tour with Jodie has a hit list from Ireland, and we're going around with Scholars for a few dates, and then ending on Sonosphere. Which, which again, can't quite grasp. That is yeah, it's, just, it's just a, incredible, incredible. I cannot wait. I can't wait to play. That's going to be huge. So, guys, <laughs> so what, have you had any more rock and roll moments on tour? Anything that's just been ridiculous? What has Rich done? He always does stuff. Our friend Rich is passed out in the van now, he looks a bit like a rat, you'll see him walking around, we're scuttling around sometimes, but um, what has he done? He's probably done something, I don't know. What was, oh, well, it wasn't really a rock and roll moment for us, actually, we kind of would have hit the guy, but yeah, uh, the other day at the show, like, some, some singer went and lamped a sound guy. That, that wasn't really a rock and roll moment for us, though. Actually, that was probably one of the down points in the tour. This tour's been really depressing. <laughs> no, it's been alright. I mean, you say that you're, you say that you're, uh, you love touring. Do you, I mean, how different is your? What's the difference between a, a, your songs being live and your songs being recorded? What for you is the difference? I, I think our live show is really what sells our bands. I mean, on, on record, it's great. It's great to listen to the songs. They've got like good pop songs. I think good choruses, good to sing along with. But when you come see it live, it's, it's a lot more energetic than it is on record. That's how we kind of grew up. Right in this band was like, you know, all about the live show, and that's what we kind of aim to be. So uh, yeah, live is definitely where it's at for us. I mean, have you, with regards to your rig, are you planning to slowly accumulate maybe lights and stuff? Obviously, because lights go blue, it sounds like it's going to be a flashy show eventually, hopefully. Eventually, that's the only word I can think of, eventually. We're, we're still concentrating on getting the name out, I think. That's, that's more important than anything right now. Yeah, we're definitely not going to jump the gun in that one. Have you got anyone that you've kind of been observing that you really want to tour with at any point? Um, anyone at the minute that you'd like to tour with, if you could? Um, I'd like to tour with Jedward so I could kill him. <laughs> so touring with Jedward equals death of Jedward. Yeah. Do you think Jedward would ever tour though? I don't think Jedward would ever tour, surely not. I feel like it'd be a travesty to the music industry. <laughs> they can if they want. They ruined all the small things, so that's a travesty yeah. enough. That's what probably annoyed me the most. Is this, all the small things has now become a joke. Not that it wasn't a joke anyway, but it was, it was more of a fun joke. Now it's just kind of killed it, like when you take it a bit too far. So, so I'm really annoyed that Tom DeLong let them use that, or, or Blink-182 let them use that. Yeah. The swines. So are you guys going abroad with the Lights Go Blue or are you just sticking mainly to the UK? Yeah, we are, we are actually going abroad, like confirmed on a couple of festivals in Europe in um, September. 
we're going to Sweden and Holland. Uh, Sweden is called Mosh Pit Open and uh, we did that last year and that was awesome. I can't wait to go back again and Holland is uh, called Incubate Festival in Tilburg so looking forward to that. We also had plans in October, this is the coming back to that tour thing um, to go abroad but we'll see, we'll see if that happens or not. I've Fingers crossed. Yeah. By any chance, would you be going abroad with Shikari to America? Maybe. Maybe, yeah. Maybe, maybe. It's a big, big, big fact. Maybe though, isn't it? Because my visa needs to sort itself out. It's called kisses, kiss that. So, I mean, you guys are playing St Albans tonight, which is where, well, I mean, it's, it's a tiny little venue. It's quite intimate. It's, it's meant to be promoting sort of local music and all that kind of stuff. Do you think that more events like this need to happen? Or, do, I mean, do you think that there's too much stuff going on with, like, academies and things like that? I think definitely more events need to happen. Um, but they kind of need to happen properly. Like, this place, they've obviously put a good load of money into it. And, then, you know, they're not, they're not beating any corners. They're not, you know... They're not doing it half assed they're probably going for it, and I think it looks amazing in there. So, if more people kind of, you know, took a page out of their book, then I think it'd be a lot more successful than trying to just run a, a little night in a pub somewhere, you know. But I suppose you've got to start somewhere. Yeah, this is very true. Well, thank you very much, Let's Go Blue, and I wish you the best at Sonosphere. Thank you. Thank you.